Okay. Hey. Thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, right? Sh straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh, man. Stop it. Don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Careful. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. Ah. I just want to go home already. Uh-oh. What happened? <clears throat> what the? What the hell? Oh my god. I tripped. Can you even call that tripping? <laughs> How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. We, we should help her up. Are you okay? <laughs> My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers is like a magic trick or something. Anyway, everyone's here right now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. It's finally starting. That took way too long. Alright, what's the talk? Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No, you've forgotten about shitting. Pay attention! Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Bond? I... This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> Just as I figured. That was kind of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. Hmm. However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciple... Uh, a discipled. Excuse me. A disciplined leadership provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even sto sports teams need captains, after all. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction, and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second. What? What is it? Jeez! What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Decided to be the leader all on your own? Why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who's more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Tagami household destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you the attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Makiru, please wait. It's true that Mercuria may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be true, but if we need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. no, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. It's all clear now. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <laughs> so reliable. It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I don't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent prodigy, progeny, excuse me, to look down on us like we're bugs or something. <laughs> now then, let's move on to the topic at hand. For real this time, I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's at Jabberwock Park at the center island. Come follow me, thump, thump, thump. After saying it so bluntly, Bukuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. 
I thought, oh, just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone has similar complaints, they all followed Bakuya out of the restaurant. Alright, I guess that's where we're going. Oops, what did I do? I clicked too quickly. Uh, I better hurry and follow after Bakuya. He's at the Jabberwock Park, I believe. Okay, I don't know what he, what he's leading us there for. I guess we're gonna find out. What are you doing? You should hurry over to the park. Oh my God, this guy is crazy cowardly. Didn't this same thing happen last time too? Hajime, how many times are you gonna surprise me? I just spoke to you normally. Uh, anyway, you should hurry over to the park. Shut up, I'm going back to my room. Seriously, this is all just one big hassle. All right, damn it, seriously. If we're in a tropical paradise, then why are we in a situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Relax. Now we won't change a thing, okay? Hey. Hajime, it's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? <laughs> For coconuts, damn it, I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. You can't just will a coconut open. Give up and get some coconut juice from the supermarket. <laughs> You just don't understand. Fine, be that way. I'm never going to ask you for help again. He left. I hope he goes straight to the park. Now then, I should hurry too. <clears throat> hmm. So Jabberwock Park, where would it be in regards to where we are now? Actually, you know what? Can I just fast travel? Map. Uh, there it is. Very nice. The fast travel is very useful. Jabberwock Park. What in the holy hell? For skinny people, you're awfully slow. Um. It seems you're just too fast for us. Uh, Jeez, I never expected a fatso like him to move so fast. What? What's what's supposed to be here? What? Here, really? Such ignorance. If you haven't noticed it yet, I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. A giant bomb. What's that? Counting down. An obviously out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. Looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down. What's going on? Was this here when we came last time? No! No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it was actually placed here. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe this is happening. <laughs> Hold on. Could it be? It better not be a bomb. Are you kidding me? A b -b 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 bomb? Not possible. If they wanted to blow up the island, they could have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. <laughs> then what are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! Manomi? What? Why are you here? Um... I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Um... Not that. Um, Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. So that's why you were surprised. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears you cannot escape. <laughs> you must be an undead abomination risen from the foulest depths of the netherworld by black magic. <laughs> Do you want me to, to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Monomi's a, me a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she'd only need like a spare or something. <laughs> a spare? What a mean thing to say. <laughs> However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. Paul, countdown. 
Whoa, what is this? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. Hey. I really don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. Huh? You don't know even though you're Monokuma's little sister. That's wrong. I'm not my brother's little sister. Does she accept her roller or not? Which one is it? Alrighty. Anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. <laughs> if you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um... Let's together... I said get lost. The uh, damn. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um... Perhaps you're being a little too harsh? I'm starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonia, may I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. Hey, bastard. Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object there and how did they do it in just one night? I can't imagine. Hmm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> <clears throat> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. The island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he's right, that is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This, too, must be the will of causality. All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. <laughs> so, it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. That is... Such a sad trend. Hmm. Uh, I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. So... Maybe the Monobies killed everyone on the island? What? And that's how it became uninhabited? It's certainly possible. That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. Hmm. This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. <laughs> Arr, it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hmm. You're right. It's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What are you trying to say? So, in other words... I mean the situation we're under is definitely, undeniably, the work of some enormous organization. <laughs> enormous organization? Hmm. Monomi, Monokuma, the Mono Beasts, they're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, they need a ton of funding, and there's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. In other words... That organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then... Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. Not likely. They're probably running from this somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind this. Hmm. I see, a big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words... Well, let's see. There's my Tagami Corporation, Sonia's Novoselic Kingdom, and the Kuzuryu Clan. You could definitely have to be an organization so powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? <clears throat> huh? <clears throat> I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey! Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kuzuryu, Kuzuryu Clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonia. Miss Sonya's a hot blonde princess. We're, there's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Oh, just shut up already, loser. Whoa! Loser? Are you talking to me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> it must be hard to make your living in the lame-ass loser industry. <laughs> too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Rikuya. Were you serious just now about this being related to your family and Sonya's and such? <laughs> I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. We're certain we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... Whatever. How long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we wa talk about something more realistic? Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So in other words... What we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, they'll be a much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the e-handbook, we're free to explore the island. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere, so let's I'm start looking. Alright, let's get this crap done. <laughs> uh, what are we looking for? Hey. Akane, were you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy is. Fine. 
No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against Go us. By four dark devas of destruction. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Wow, hands just came out of your scarf. <laughs> Gee, heat, they're so adorable. What? Adorable, you say? Thank you. Oh my my! <laughs> You're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at this guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we, there, we all need to be a lot more cautious, and yet I'm relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Listen. Oh, okay. 